Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors into nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. It's time to come in for morning tea, Nilly. We've been out for a few hours, and this is a bit of kelp. Really tough type of seaweed or sea plant. And that actually bit of seaweed that I'm holding, that was, would have been the root system there. It is actually used by a few people with different things. They use them in tablets now, they make kelp tablets out of it. And some of the ice creams, they'll actually use it as an additive to ice cream apparently as well. But um, different people have different uses for this type of seaweed. But I think I've got something better to have for morning tea up in the vehicle, hopefully. But uh, interesting to see it washed up. Another variety there with the little floaties on it, which help it to stay upright when it's underneath the ocean. But we'll see a lot more of seaweeds as we go for our beach combing in a few minutes anyway. We'll put it back in the ocean, something will nibble on it. Some crabs will feed on that, those sea stars we just looked at. They like to chew on it, but you know, it's pretty, pretty tough stuff. Very hard to chew on. When you're doing this sort of wildlife wanderings here in the rock pool areas, in this sort of habitat down at the beach, always be aware there's a few creatures that you need to be careful of. Some of them are beautiful to look at. The blue ringed octopus, for example, has bright blue rings all over its body, which serves as a warning not to touch it, not to pick it up. So even simple things like this, picking up bits of kelp or seaweed, you never know what might be attached to it or in amongst it. So always take care, especially with children if you're out and about. The Siberian octopus is known to be in this habitat and they feed on crabs, but being fairly nocturnal in nature, our chances of getting one during the daytime is pretty slim, but then again, rolling over rocks, looking in seaweed, you never know. So some precautions are needed, but uh, no need to be alarmed. Still enjoy this sort of area, looking because um, God's creatures are everywhere, but you just have to look carefully to find them. Well, we've just been out on the reef looking at what's out there in the rock pools and trying to respect that area, but when you're walking along a coastal environment like this, you need to take notice of some of the signs that you'll see as well. There's a bit of erosion happening here, but people put up these signs for a reason. There's a need to look after our environment, care for the place you're visiting. If you're wandering around looking for wildlife, just respect what's there, because it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. 